Our praises on and glory belong to Yahweh, Baasham Yahweh Shai, Baasham Mokakadash. All right, Yahweh, being the true and powerful name, the only name of the Heavenly Father, mm -hmm. who, the, who the world ignorantly calls God and Jehovah, Yahweh Shai, being the true and heavenly name of His Son, who the world ignorantly calls Yeshua and Jesus. Yeah. All right, and um, the Rakah Kodash is the Holy Spirit. Yeah. With right? understanding in the Holy Scriptures. Can. All right, is it brother your call? Brother Yawsa. And um, you know this this lesson, Lord's will that it be edifying to yeah. the brothers that are out there pushing you know the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai in truth and in sincerity. Mm -hmm. All right, and the lesson you know I'm basically touch on. The mercy of the how of Bashem Yahu Shai. Yeah, and no, um, also, it's like right up. We yeah, want to um, say double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, all right? Yeah, can't. And all the sins to the elders, here. elders and apostles. Can't. Can. Uh, yeah, this is Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 23. Mm -hmm. It says, Have I any pleasure at all that the wicked should die? Mm -hmm. Saith Yahweh Power. Yeah, can't. All right, and when you read through the chapter, it was basically going into, oh, you know, the most had made us our uh, watchmen all right and if you give a man warning that is in sin and you repent from his sin and if a man that is to slip from sin you know and he was going into the judgment all right but in verse two, uh, 23 it talk about how the most I had not pleasure in the destruction of the wicked all right and this this here is referring to the Israelites you see because mm -hmm. the most had pleasure in, in the destruction of Esau Edom. Yeah. All right, go ahead. It says, I read about it. It says, Have I any pleasure at all that the wicked should die, saith Yahweh Power? Yeah, you can't. The most I had no pleasure that the wicked should die. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And it says, um, and it's a question, right? Mm -hmm. It says, At all mm -hmm. that the wicked should die, and not that he should return from his ways and live. Yeah, you can't. All right, so the most I is saying that the men. Of Israel, his pleasure is that they should return and live from the wicked ways. Yeah. All right, and that applies to us brothers, even in the truth. Yeah. You know, because hey, you're gonna slip, but the main thing is that once you don't slip, you don't slide completely. Yeah. You know, and slide out to the truth. Hey, you slip and you get back up. Yeah. You see, the scriptures say that. Go ahead, read tomorrow. I think it gets says, um, it. But when the righteous no jump to um 32 yeah ezekiel 18 32 said for i have no pleasure in death in the death of him that died saith yahweh power mm -hmm. wherefore turn yourselves and and live ye yeah can i remember that repentance was only given to the nation of israel can. all right so the scriptures referring to the men of israel the most sad pleasure that they should turn to him yeah. and to serve him that's why when you go to acts chapter um i think it's uh 26 it talk about how all israel shall be saved yeah. you see because that's that's how the most had made it from the beginning all right yes yeah, um yeah let me just look for it real quick yeah this is jeremiah 21 Now verse 8. Slap, yeah. 1 of verse 8, right? Mm -hmm. It says, it says, And unto this people thou shalt say, Thus, thus saith Yahweh Power, Behold, I set before you the way of life and the way of death. Mm -hmm. And this this the Mosai showing him mercy. And um, just as he asked the question, Have I any pleasure? Because if he had any pleasure, he wouldn't have, he wouldn't have, he wouldn't have made as simple as two options, you know? The way of life and the way of death but he also expounded and said i have no pleasure that anybody should die you know, sir? and the scripture said he's god of the living right brother when give me um wisdom of Solomon chapter one i think it's one i think it's one did you get it wisdom of Solomon one and verse um let me see yeah, 13. Yeah. 1 and 13. yeah, this is Wisdom of Solomon chapter 1, verse 13. It says, For the Most High made not death, mm -hmm. neither hath he pleasure in the destruction of the living. Yeah, can't. Alright, what the Most High 
wants is for you to repent, okay. for you to return to him, all right? And we're going to get it in Acts and it talk about how, you know, in the time of the ignorance, the most I wink at it. Okay. But he command all men everywhere to repent. Let me get it up. Yeah, bring it up, Baba Krishna. Then we're going to bounce back. It is Acts 17 and verse 30. Mm -hmm. It says, At the times of this ignorance, the most I winked at, but now commanded all men everywhere to repent. Yeah, can. All right? So, when we was in the world, we was doing things that were contrary to the scriptures, ignorantly. Can. All right? Because even, even today, we look around in, um, in these different doctrines and these different denominations of Christianity, they don't give you the, the true breakdown of the scriptures. All right? They leave you ignorant, not knowing. You see? But then when you come to the truth, that's when you get the full understanding of the scriptures. Okay. All right? So what the most I say, hey, at those times, you know, you was ignorant. You was doing whatever you was doing, not knowingly. But now that you know what's right, and what's, what's, um, according to the scriptures, do such. You see? This is don't ask. Yeah, back in um, Wisdom of Solomon 13, 1 and 13. Yeah, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 1 verse 13 For the most I made not death mm -hmm. Neither hath he pleasure in the destruction of the living Yeah, can And that's to the point The most I don't have any pleasure in the destruction of the living Alright, which is who? The, the men that are living in these days Are the 144,000 men The prophets yeah. Right, because we have the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai yeah. The scriptures say in Proverbs chapter 21 And verse 16 It says that the man You want to bring the Quick, real quick, act. was it Proverbs 21 and 16? I believe. Is it? Proverbs 21 and 16 The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Yeah, can't. So, the men that are in the understanding, those are the living. The man that wandereth out of the congregation of understanding is in the congregation of the dead. Roughly paraphrasing. Can. All right, so who's the living in these times? The living is the is um. The prophets of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And the Mosa had no pleasure in them dying. You know, or in their destruction. Um, because um, they are the living word. Yeah. All right. Yeah. What's the next precept? Yeah. Long bones back to the funeral quick. Wisdom of Solomon? Yeah. Yeah, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 1, verse 14 says, For he created all things that they might have their being mm -hmm. and the generations of the world were, were healthful. healthful there is no poison of destruction in them mm -hmm. nor the kingdom of death upon the earth yeah good for for righteousness is immortal yeah kind and that's what the Mosai hey ultimately desire all right and that's why the scriptures say in um hebrews chapter 8 and 8 or jeremiah 31 and 31 would prophesy that the, that you know what gonna happen in the new kingdom. Okay. All right, how the most I gonna put the laws in our inward parts. You see, and we gonna know it perfectly. We ain't gonna sin. We ain't gonna go off. So if we ain't sinning, that means that we won't die. All right, we gonna be righteous and we gonna be immortal. You know, that's that's ultimately what the most I desire. All right. But then at the same time, that's not something that you should take lightly Damn. or take for granted. You see? Yeah. Give me um um we go to second Ezra seven and sixty one. Yeah, second Ezra seven and verse six to one it says that there should be that there should not be such heaviness in their destruction mm -hmm. as shall be joy over them that are persuaded to salvation. Mm -hmm. I answered then and said, I know, Yahweh, that the Most High is, is called merciful, mm -hmm. and in that hath mercy upon them which are not come yet into the world. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. So imagine that before you even come into the world, the Most High show you mercy. You know, by creating, you know. It says, and upon those also that turn 
to his law mm -hmm. that he is patient and long suffering yeah. those that have sinned as his creatures yeah can't all right because ultimately when you go to hebrews um not hebrews romans chapter 8 and 20 mm -hmm. you talk about how they were made the creatures were made subject to vanity okay. all right so ultimately it's the most size will you know that's the most i will all right and we talk about um um read back verse 63 64 verse 64 it says and that he is patient and long suffering those that have sinned as his creatures yeah can all right and that proved that we are creatures you know that there's a power above us you know we don't have hey we don't we don't wake up on our own in the morning okay. there's somebody that that we report to okay. you know which is yahweh bashemi al shai he's the creator and we are the creatures okay. um, you see um, Malakda, without King David, he said um, in Psalms, um, I, have, I have awakened and thou hast sustained me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some more. Yeah, verse uh, 6 to 4, it says, And he is patient and long suffered those that have sinned as, as his creatures, and that he is bountiful, for he is ready to give where it needed. Yeah, it can. All right, then was that referring to the Mosai's mercy? Okay. He's ready to give it where, wheresoever it is needed. See? Hey. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Uh. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. It says um 66. 66. For, that he is of great mercy, for he multiplieth more mercies to them that are present. And oh, that read it back. Yeah. Uh, verse 67. 66. 66. It's fine, right? In country enough. And the glare. It says and that he is of great mercy for he multiplieth more and more mercies to them that are present yep. and that are past and also to them which are come are to come yeah for he shall you see the mercy already um prepared because um for like due to popular belief people believe that the Mosai created this pit this pit of hell for people burn forever. What sense they make? What pleasure the most I will grind up? You know? And the most I don't have mercy is for past, present and future. <laughs> more and more. You know? It says for if he shall not multiply his mercies. So there's the point, right? Read it back. For if he shall not multiply his mercies, mm -hmm. the world would not continue with them that inherit therein. You see? So if the Mosai didn't show mercy, hey, ain't nobody would have been on the face of the earth today. Okay. All right? Why? Because we had all sinned against the Mosai. Okay. Every last one of us. You see? Mm. We had yeah. all transgressed the Mosai law. The scriptures say, um, have you not known that all men are liars? Okay. The heart is desperately wicked? Yeah. Or shall a mortal man be more just than his creator? Yeah. In Job 4, you know? Yeah, continue on? Yeah, go ahead. It says, um, let me read back that verse, but it says, For if he shall not multiply his mercies, the world would not continue with them that inherit therein. Mm -hmm. Alright? 6 to 8. He pardoneth, he pardoneth, for if he did not so of his goodness, that which that they which have committed iniquities might be eased of them mm -hmm. and ten thousand and the ten thousandth part of men should not remain living mm -hmm. being mm -hmm. judge mm -hmm. and being judge if he should not forgive them mm -hmm. that are cured with his word see so all the most i show you mercy through this word mm -hmm. The fact that we in this truth, the fact that we get in the understanding of the scriptures, first and foremost, hey, that's that's mercy. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You see, that's mercy. Because a year, two years ago, four years ago, we didn't know what we know. You know, we was walking around dead as the majority of these people. Alright, blinded to every single thing that's going on around them. 
most of all blind to the most I will and plan. Yeah. Thinking that um, we had enough, but not knowing we had nothing. See? You see that? Yeah. And the point is that, and being judged if he should not forgive them that are cured with his word and put out the multitude of contentions, there should be very few left for adventure in an innumerable multitude. Okay. All right? So you think about it. If, if the Mosa was supposed to be without mercy, hey, and, that's, and, and again, that's not something you should take lightly. The mercy of the Mosa is not something you should take lightly. All right? But the point is that the Mosa is full of mercy. Okay. You know? Hey, hey, give me, um, no, give me, give me, um, what's that? Sirach chapter 16 and 12, and then give me, um, what's that? Isaiah 59 and 1, I believe. I got one later, right? Yeah, you want me to go first? Um, bring it after this. Yeah. Yeah, Sirach 16 and, and 12, it says, As his mercy is great, mm -hmm. so also is his correction yeah. also. Um, he judges the man according to his works. Yeah, can. So if you're doing things that are... are um, so if you're doing... He judges the man according to his works. So if your works, all right, it's right that the Mosai bring death and destruction upon you because of your works, that's exactly what you're going to receive. But if your works is in the light, all right, to where to way you deserve mercy, hey, the most I can show you mercy, you know? So ultimately, what you have to do is strive for this truth, all right, and hope that the most I show you mercy. Come on. I have two you see? Of such. This, this is exactly what we're striving for. Yeah. Fincher? Yeah. Uh, you remember the Isaiah thing? I think um, it's 59. Or you want? Yeah, let me read these two precepts quick first. This is going to such a nice rating. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 11 and 23. It says, For thou hast mercy upon all, for thou canst do all things, and winketh at the sins of men because they should amend it. For thou lovest all things that are, and abhorrest nothing which thou hast made, for never wouldest thou have made anything if thou hadst hated it. Mm -hmm. Alright, so the most I have pleasure for none of these things die and so forth. The most I create them for his ultimate will, and then at the end of it, you begin to understand the whole moral of the story. Why we went through all this stuff. So we could give the most high prayers, because what the scripture says, we seek for a new heaven and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. And in the large prayer way, he said, Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. You know? But it's levels. So that's why he said, um, the Heaven is thrown and, and the earth is his footstool. Feel the most I want to keep your footstool? People have said this word and blow up. That make no sense. You know? Um, and another one, eh? This is a real good one. This is, uh, well, you know, all of them good, but to, according to the lesson. This is uh, Sirach chapter 18 and verse 11 says, Therefore is the most I patient with them. Mm. Yeah, we have so therefore is the most I patient with them and power and pour forth his mercy upon them, right? He saw and perceived their end to be evil, mm -hmm. therefore he multiplied his compassion. Right? And that's why his scripture says, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Because the most I teaching us to be um judges judges you know like him you know because um yahweh shai you know who the world ignorant calls christ he said um he said that if you forsake father mother land you shall be roughly paraphrasing you shall be with him judging the 12 thrones Tribes. the 12 tribes of israel and angels and other matters all right it says verse 13 of sirach 18 oh shucks let me get it to <laughs> Yeah, it says, The mercy of man is toward his neighbor, but the mercy of the Most High is upon all flesh. He reproveth and nurtureth and teacheth and bringeth again as a shepherd his flock. 
So the Mosai is c controlling everything and showing mercy towards everything. You know? And, you know, we, we, that's why the scripture says, um, your ways and not my ways. Because you would never understand why we do certain things. Like, for example, uh, you know, you, people might see a child suffering. It's like, why the Mosai do all this? But in the end result, the scripture saying that there's, there's mercy. We can't understand why the Mosai said it so. You just got to be patient and everything will reveal it in time. You see? Verse 14, it says, He hath mercy upon them that receive discipline and that diligently seek after his judgment. So in these last days, what's, that's what's going to happen. Those that, that are disciplined, everybody impulsive, trying to forget more money, more women, more drunk, more high, more wicked, more perverse, they claim that the scripture said talk but they have a form of godliness but deny the truth thereof mm -hmm. you know the thing that because you know um going to church, going to church or uh, mm -hmm. they, uh, they got people who know the script bible better than we but still the most i didn't give them the understanding but then they don't know the bible better well well they know the words yeah, they, they know the words, words but they don't the mean it yeah they could quote it you know, and so find it cut off head and stuff like that but they don't understand the depth of it you know you go in them churches, them, them men could say Psalms 23, <laughs> top to bottom, Psalms 23. Yeah, different languages, top three different bottom. languages. <laughs> <laughs> I can say it's yeah. okay, can I? It's okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, finish it? Um, I got a piece more. It says, um, verse 15. Mm. My, my son, blemish not thy good deeds, need to use uncomfortable words when thou givest anything no no this this basically that you want to get the ice off now yeah sure 50 59 you said 901 don't lose it what is it yeah mm -hmm. isaiah 59 verse 1 it says ready mm -hmm. it says behold yahweh's hand is not shortened mm -hmm. that he cannot save neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear yeah can and this is this is going into the mercy of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Yeah. Alright? The Mose and is not short. There's absolutely nothing. And I believe that 100 percent mm. Alright? Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai that all things are possible through Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Yeah. There's absolutely nothing that the Mose cannot do. Yeah. You see? There's no situation that the Mose can't take you out of. Yeah. Alright? Because essentially, is he put it, he put you in it. Yeah. You see? yeah. <laughs> he put you. you he tried. The scripture said that he tried you to see if he, if you have gold, precious jewels, stubble, or or hair, or wood. You know. And this is when you can know who really, truly, and serve the Most High. That's why the scripture saying, "I'm um, Second Ezra." Mm -hmm. Then you shall know who are my chosen. Mm -hmm. That's why I read the last verse in uh, Sirach. In verse Sirach 18 14, he hath mercy on them that receive discipline that diligently seek after his judgments. Continue on this, Isaiah. Yeah, you get some. It says, But your iniquities have separated between you and your power, and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. Yeah, come on, that's that's it. Alright. Hey, we're gonna slip. Hmm. But don't don't let iniquities be to don't let your sins be so much that it turned to iniquity. Yeah. Iniquity right. is um, mul sins multiplying, multiplying. They become like habitual. You see? Mm. Hey, we're going to slip. Mm. All right? But don't let it become iniquity. That's the point. Your iniquity has separated you between you and the more side. That's why you can't receive the mercy. Yeah. All right? But what you, you are to uh, turn from your iniquity Turn back to your Hawa Bashim Yahushai. Then he gonna show you mercy. Then I'll quick precept. Yeah, I'll be sure. <coughs> yeah. This is going into the iniquity, right? This is Habakkuk 1 and 30. It says, Thou art of purer eyes than to behold evil, and canst not look on iniquity. Wherefore thou thou lookest wherefore lookest thou upon them that deal treacherously and holdest thy tongue when when the wicked devoureth the man that is more righteous than Slakia? Let me read it back again. It says thou art pure purer thou art of purer eyes 
than to behold evil and canst not look on iniquity. Wherefore lookest thou upon them that deal treacherously and holdest thy tongue when the wicked devour the man that is more righteous than he? All right. So the Mosai eyes too pure for behold iniquity. So that's why the Mosai is training us up to do the right thing. That's why scripture says long suffering, right? Yeah. Let's start. I have one more precept. Real. Oh, one. 25. Let's go to the Yeah, we're up there. Yeah, yeah. Riddle, riddle. Alright. Um, second Ezra 8 and start at 24. Yeah, it is second Ezra chapter 8, verse 24. Oh, hear the prayer of thy servant and give ear to the. and give ear or. It's like a give ear to the petition of thy creature. For while I live, I will speak, and so long as I have understanding, I will answer. Mm -hmm. Oh, look not upon the sins of thy people, but on them which serve thee in truth. Yeah, you can. All right, and that's uh, Ezra's praying for the elect. You can. All right, hey, don't look on, on, on these two turrets and these niggas out here. All right, but what? Look on the men that serve you in truth. Can. You know? But That's why the scripture is saying in Romans 8 that is the most side that justified. Mm -hmm. Whom he justified, there we glorify. It says, Regard not the wicked inventions of the heathen, mm -hmm. but the desire of those that keep thy testimonies in afflictions. Yeah, can. All right. and, we point going. and the most side, going, hey, we just go through real affliction in this truth. You see? We just go through hell. Mm -hmm. All right, real affliction. But what does the scripture say? But the desire, as Jesus is asking the Mosai to regard, pay attention to the desire of them, mm -hmm. um, of those that keep thy testimonies. Uh, twenty-seven. Yeah, twenty-seven. But regard the desire of those that keep thy testimony in in, in affliction. In, in affliction. All right, to the men that go all form to this word, okay. you know the testimonies, the bitterness, the truth. In bitterness, it says, continue. Yeah, go ahead. It says, think not upon those that have walked faintly before mm -hmm. thee, but remember them, which according to thy will have known thy fear. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this is a proper precept, boy. Mm -hmm. Known thy fear, you understand? Because a lot of people don't fear the Lord these days. People be yelling out blasphemous stuff, you know, like if nothing will happen to them. But the most I, you know, like they said, the most I gave them a long rope. Chuck. Just, <laughs> is he chuck. Is he chuck, boy? It says, let it not be 29. Let it not be thy will to destroy them which have lived like beasts, mm -hmm. but to look upon them that have clearly taught thy law. Yeah. Okay. It's, continue. Yeah, it says, take. Take thou no indignation at them which are deemed worse than beasts. Woo. But love them, but love them that always put their trust in thy righteousness and glory. For we and our fathers do languish for such diseases, but because of us sinners thou shalt be called merciful. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to double highlight this one. <laughs> See, so the Mosai when we call merciful. Hey, if we don't okay. sin, Mosai can't be called merciful. Oh my gosh, boy. If we don't go off, there's Come. no way that the Mosai would show how merciful that he is. Come. You see? But then at the same time, you can't say, hey, I'm going to go off and the Mosai going to show me mercy. mercy. And do I want the Mosai going to show me mercy? It's, well, the scriptures talk about presumptuous sin in Deuteronomy. Yeah. That the most I would kill you yeah. if you're being presumptuous. And talk about then, um, I think it's, it's Hebrews. Mm. Talk about if he sinned yeah, willingly. Yeah. There's, there remain no sacrifice of sins. Yeah. Hebrews 10. See, 10 to the one. You get some wonder. Oh, okay, okay. It says, um, try the two. <laughs> you could end it right there. Nah, <laughs> I know, I know. For if thou hadest, for if thou hast a desire, a desire to have mercy upon us, thou shalt be called merciful mm -hmm. to us, namely, that have no works of righteousness. Mm. 
It's good to go say back that. to Isaiah. Yeah, the, the same as um, you want to get it. Let's um, say that um, our, our works as a spilty rag. Spilty rags. Is that piece of again? You see. So hey, this thing, this thing is not about how much you do, right? And that is by uh, no means me saying not to do the works okay. and not to do your best. All right. But it's about Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, who you have chosen, you know, who he will give mercy to. Yeah. Who he deem as righteous. Yeah. But ultimately, who you have chosen from the beginning. Okay. All right, go ahead. It says, um, it's Isaiah 64 and 6. It says, we are all as, as an unclean thing. Mm -hmm. And all our righteousness are as filthy rags. And we we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities like the wind have taken us away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is on that. Uh, it was eight and fifty-eight. Read that. Oh, we that third tree. I mean, back third two. Mm -hmm. it says, for if thou hast desire to have mercy upon us, mm -hmm. thou shalt be called merciful. To us namely that have no works of righteousness and you see Ezra was specific to us namely and Ezra is a part of the elect okay and he's back here today you see he said to us namely to us specifically that okay. have no works of righteousness all right but yet they have works of righteousness okay go ahead for the just for the just which have many good works laid up with thee, mm -hmm. shall out of their deeds receive reward. Yeah, it can. All right. And that backing up, um, you know, the point that hey, the, Mo the Mosai is merciful, but he still had to do what is required of you. Okay. All right. That's what it is. There's no getting around it. You need to do what the Mosai command you to do. Okay. Like the scripture says, we can do nothing for nothing but the truth before the truth. You know? And like Jonah. It says um third of four it says for what is man that thou shouldest take pleasure displeasure. take take displeasure at him or what is a corruptible generation that thou shouldest be so bitter toward it mm -hmm. for in truth for in truth them is no man among them that be born but he hath dealt wickedly but he that dealt wickedly but he, all right mm -hmm. look around every man that is born i done wickedly okay all right, there's no man that can say, hey, I never do none wicked. Back to Job 4 again. Shall a man be more perfect than the creator? Roughly paraphrasing. Go ahead. It says, For in truth, there is no man among them that, is, that be born, but he hath dealt wickedly. Mm -hmm. And among the faithful, there is none which hath not done amiss. You see, even among the faithful, all right, they had done amiss. <laughs> Can. They had done a miss. Okay. Even the elect had done a miss. Alright, which is what to go off. But yet the most I show them mercy. Okay. Why? Because they stay firm to the word. You see? Despite they, they slip, they know that this is home. Okay. You know, this is where the heart's supposed to be. See go ahead. Verse 36. For in this, O Yahweh. Thy righteousness and thy goodness shall be declared mm -hmm. if thou be merciful unto them which have not the confidence of good works. Mm -hmm. If thou be merciful unto them which have not the confidence of good works, then answer he me and said, Some things hast thou spoken aright, and according and according unto thy words it shall be. Mm -hmm. Is it that? Yeah, it is it. Mm. Yeah, this fire boy. So with that, we give our praises on in glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai, Ba'asham, Makakodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of great in the stone. Salutation to the hundred and four thousand men, the one third men, women, men, women, and children like to be saved. Yeah, Shalom. Shalom, Abad, Babal.